short. And sweet! Hello folks, my Maya student and teacher license is running out. We're at the end of 2022, so I don't know what will happen with this tutorial channel in Maya. I'm not willing to pay anything because I'm teaching and I'm not earning money from it. This brief tutorial is about a chat. Why a chat? Well, because the chatbot creates code as well. You might remember Dolly 2, which is uh, an artificial intelligence system which creates images from text. Here are a couple of examples I did. And uh, now we have from the same company, openai.com, that is the chat GPT. And here we can enter ordinary phrases in different languages. By the way, you can try it in Hindi if you like. I tried it in German. Uh, let us try it in, in English here. Uh, create a haiku which is a, a three-line Japanese poem with a certain amount of syllables. Create a haiku about an electric car and the desert. Now the bot thinks, the artificial intelligence assembles data and within a couple of seconds we'll get a haiku. Brilliant. Electric car glides through the desert, heat so still, nature's peace disturbed. I couldn't have done it better, really. Uh, probably worse. Now, let's try the code for Maya. Create a Python script for Autodesk Maya, a scene with 99 spheres. Okay, let's do this. And the bot creates, well, a script. It doesn't open Maya or anything, it just creates text. In with, with a black background, that's the command, that, that's the code. And here it develops a text, the code, and later on it explains the code. Really cool. If you're not familiar with Python or scripting in any way, uh, this might be quite good for you to learn um, these things. Short. Sweet. So we create the spheres and later on we remove uh, we move them to random positions. I didn't talk about randomness in any way, but um, here we have further instructions of what we can do. Now we copy that, that code. It's a Python script and it starts with, by the way, this very important and very delicate indeed, import Maya commands as commands. Uh, you need this line actually uh, in order to start Python scripting in Maya and the bot knows that we need this line here. So we switch over to Maya and uh, this is Maya 2022, no, it's 2020.4. This is the license which runs out in just a couple of days. And um, I go to the bottom right. This is the icon for scripting. And here we have two tabs, the Mel tab, Maya Embedded Language, and the More Modern Python tab. And here I just paste what I've just seen into the window. Now I run the script and I have 99 randomly positioned spheres in the scene. These are all the spheres. I think this is great and you need access to the OpenAI artificial intelligence platform and once you have that, that you can use this spot to create code. Pretty amazing. Have a nice day. Short. Sure.